Mango. And like I pull out the puff in the second game and I barely win. It's like I'm like this is gonna be a long set because like floaty floaty battles are just like you don't really have too many combos. It's like I hit you and then that's it. And then we see we're like it's just slow pace and it's like see, I'll play this guy this long is like so rough. It's been a while. Like, hey, He's himself again. Oh, and I and I wanted to not skip a fucking beat. In game three, I pulled off like an amazing stitch face combo. Oh shit! Oh, 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 wow! Dies zero to death in like three seconds. This character that is not supposed to die fast. It was possible with you know this one stitch. Wow! That just that just destroyed the momentum. Yeah, what just happened? And he got pretty shaky after that. Uh -huh. He actually called for me out to coach him in, in finals. He played his heart out. He ended up losing the match. There was a stitch face involved like near the end and he just lost. And then he turns to me and he says, I can't do it. You, you, you grow up with this kid who's just got so much confidence and he's so sure of himself. And it's not just false confidence, like he's proved it. He, he was beating everybody. And he, and he actually turned to me and he said, I can't do it. Like he, he thought he was done. And uh, it's, it's actually somewhat emotional too, just because like you, you get this whole persona and it's just gone, it's gone. My goal was just to convince him that he could still do it. Yo, either this dude can see into the future or he's got the fastest reaction time ever. He, does, he reacts to everything perfectly. It's true. I haven't seen him like miss one he thing. Doesn't... He just reacts. He's so good at it. Armada has the edge and Mango's fighting from behind. And and really it's like, yo, Mango's gonna lose. I was on the phone with someone and I was just saying like, yeah, our, our, Europe just won this tournament. It was 2-1 Armada and he was up two stocks versus Mango in, in a Peach versus Puff matchup, which is like, once you get behind, there's not all that much you can do. Mango's about to lose. Armada! It's just like I need something. Like something I need to pull something out. Or it's just I'm gonna lose. Everyone's yelling. It's so hype. I got there's like a sixth sense. Oh my god! And I just knew it in my heart. Mango jumps towards him. And right where Armada stops, Mango's on top of him and presses down B and Peach goes flying off the screen. Well, I'm, I'm right next to him. So I'm like, yeah, we're hot for you. Yeah, we're hot five. This is insane. I've, ne I've never seen a read like that before and never seen anyone punish uh, a read with a rest, which is like, that's basically, uh, if you can do that reliably, it's like, who could ever beat you? Like, dude, you would think like America just won a war or something. <laughs> really clutching victory from the jaws of defeat. Mango ties up the set. So he still has a long way to go, but uh, after that, it was the Mango Show. Completely got Mango back into it. He had Bo back, the tournament organizer, <laughs> pay him. In singles, so you can make it rain on the crowd. <laughs> Mango is like throwing out some one dollar bills, and one landed on my lap, 
and I didn't see like he was you know throwing them around so at first my first impression was like it was some guy that was you know leaving a one dollar bill like oh at least you got this mango, 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 mango. that was very heartbreaking for me actually it was the beginning of my second places it solidified mango's rule as like this otherworldly untouchable force and and, and he was USA, USA, USA.